Please then have a brand new perplexity mode, which allows you to empower and enrich your AI agents with the ability to just go off on the internet, scrape the internet, and also use all the tools from perplexity directly, right? So for example, if we look at this perplexity bot, it's linked to OpenAI, but it also uses the power of perplexity as a new node. This literally just came out a few days ago. And then inside here, let's round up the latest headlines in AI today and create email newsletter based on that using the perplexity tool. What that's actually gonna do is use the perplexity bot with the tool enabled to come back to us inside the chat and complete the task. And you can see the outputs right here. So if we go inside the chat, it's basically used perplexity as a native node inside here, which is massive because now you can turn your bots and your workflows into a AI agent that can actually scrape the news from today. So for example, if we click on this, let's pull this up. So this is news from June the 16th, and it can basically go off, scrape the web, find the latest news headlines, all sorts of things, right? Really cool stuff. So let's try another example. We'll refresh the chat here. We'll say research Reddit and find the latest post from today using Plexi's tool. Make sure when you're using this, you always say using the Plexi's tool. And then you can see here, it's come back to us of all the headlines from today from Reddit and then plug that in, right? Now, if you want to build something like this, pretty simple and easy. So what you're going to do is you're going to go on to NA10 and you just want to make sure that you're on the latest beta version of it. So 1.98.1. .1. That's what I upgraded to. You do that inside na10.cloud forward slash manage on your account. And then you can switch between the latest updates and once you've done, you click save changes and that will just restart the server and you're good to go from there, right? Now, once you've done that, what you're gonna do is you are going to create a new workflow. So let me show you how. So you create a new workflow. So click on create and over here, you can just add in the new first step. So let's click on that. Let's say, for example, you just wanna create a basic AI agent. So from here, you can click on the plus and then we'll type in AI agent over here, right? And you can just stick with the defaults if you want to. We'll just add in OpenAI as a chat model, right? To keep it simple, add in your credentials, blah, blah, blah. You're good to go. And then the main thing with this automation is that you're gonna click on the tool section here. So once you've added OpenAI and you've added the chat trigger and the AI agent, click on tool plus, and then select perplexity, right? Now inside perplexity, you can actually choose which model you want to use and you have to add your credentials, right? To do and add your credentials, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to perplexity, make sure you're on the pro plan, right? And inside perplexity, you just go to your settings, all settings, and then you click on API keys over here. I'm not gonna click on that and copy it because I'll have to expose my API key, but you could get the point, you just get the API key there, and then you get to go on that, paste it in here. It will say connection test is successfully once it's done, and then you're good to go, all right? Now you can select between different models. So for example, the one that I was using in the previous example is just a basic Sonar, but Sonar is still pretty powerful, right? But you can switch between R1 1776, which is a US hosted version of DeepSeek. You could also use, for example, like Deep Research as well, which I've not tested out. I assume that would actually take and do some deep research based on whatever you give it, which is pretty crazy. So you could build your own like deep research bot. Let's test that now. So what you're going to find is this is not going to work first time around. And the reason for that is because we have to test this first. And then we'll plug in the JSON data to perplexity. You'll see what I mean in a second, right? So if we go inside the chat here and we say, okay, research, for example, products in the, or let's say research trends in the AI industry, right? Something like that. So now that's going to plug in there, but it's not going to work on perplexity's tool. So what you want to do is you go to mapping, right? So click mapping over here. And then you take the chat input from here and you plug that in. And so now this is all connected. You've got the JSON data, which is dynamic each time you run a search, right? And then we're good to go. And then if we go inside here, we'll say easy in perplexity tool. Let's hit enter. And now that's going to use deep research agents to complete this chat, which is really powerful because now you've just built your own deep research agent in one or two clicks, 
APIs like, for example, ChatGPT cannot do that, but Perplexity can. It's one of the few that can. It's one of the best research products in the world. So let's have a go at this, right? So for example, let's say you've seen a lot of the ChatGPT Shopify integrations and you're like, let's make a trending product finder that could be useful for this, right? If you wanted to do that. So what you can do inside here is inside Perplexity, we've got the model connected. I'm not going to use deep reasoning. I'm just going to go with Sona for now. And what we can do inside Perplexity bot is we can change the system message over here and we'll change this. We'll say you're a helpful assistant for finding trending products on Shopify, right? And then for example, you could say, okay, research the web, find trending e-commerce products that are trending today plus recently. Then give a list to the user, something like that. Okay. And then you've got complexity tools over here so it can use that information and we can put that inside the text, I think as well. So that will send the same message to complexity as well. So now what we can do over here is we can say, okay, find me a trend in product and let's just test that out. So it's using perplexity's tool, which is great automatically. We didn't even have to call it. And then in the meantime, what you can see over here is we've got the research back from the deep reasoning agent, right? The deep research agent, which is pretty cool as well. So let's go back to perplexity now, and it's given us some trending products on Shopify that are currently popular. So for example, the heat core portable heater, and we've got a bunch of ideas right here. And so essentially what you can do is you can use this for research, for creating your own tools. You could deploy this as well. So for example, what you can actually do here is if you go to the chat section, make publicly available, right? Then what you're going to do is hit active on that. And then if we click on here, click on chat URL, open this up. We've got the chat bot ready to go. And then if we say, okay, research the latest news today, that's going to use the perplexity bot that we just built using that process to get the most out of it, to get the best out of it. I would say research the latest news today using the perplexity tool, something like that. But yeah, essentially that's how it works. Now, if you want to get this scraper bot, we actually got a link inside the AI profit boardroom to the template. So what you can actually do is if you click on the resources section here, then you're going to download that JSON file. And then from here, you can actually just easily import that into NA10. The other cool thing here as well, if we go back to the chat, you can see it's used the product finder to find drop shipping products for June, 2025. So it's found it a couple of ideas right there. And then also it's given us useful links to these blogs about the same topic. So you can easily build your own tools, deep research agents, scraper bots, etc., and just connect all your NA10 automations to the power of perplexity as well. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to connect with me personally, if you want to get the template from today, feel free to get that inside the AI profit boardroom. It's, we've got all these different NA10 templates and workflows like you can see. And additionally, what we actually do inside here each week is based on what you want to see, we build automations for you, right? So for example, you see an example here where people make loads of requests. We actually had 63 comments on this thread. We built all the automations people want to see, recorded a personal video for them, and then gave them the links to all the automations that we built as well, right? So if you want the same, feel free to get that inside the AI Profit Boardroom. We do it each week. Also, we have three coaching calls per week, so you can jump on the free live coaching calls per week. You can connect with me personally, and I reply to your DMs and give you support and everything else. And also, it's just an awesome community of winners who have a good time using AI and learn from each other. You can see all these different wins that we were sharing together this week. And yeah, just a great place to enjoy and have fun and grow together. So feel free to get the AI Profit Water Room, link in the comments description. Additionally, if you want us to just implement all this stuff for you, build some NA10 automations, etc., and just build those for your business, then feel free to book in an AI strategy session, link in the comments description. On that call, we can basically look at where you're spending all your time, figure out what you need to automate, and then we'll just go off and automate it for you, right? As you become a client, right? So feel free to get that link in the comments description and appreciate you watching. See you on the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.